Hello, welcome to this uh, MicroStrategy World session um, where we're going to walk you through um, the advantages of being a MicroStrategy Cloud um, customer and uh, specifically uh, regarding the free automated upgrades uh, to ensure you and your users are always up to date in um, the latest and greatest version uh, to enable and, and unlock all, all the features to your business users that provides you know real business value. My name is uh, Alberto del Castillo. I'm the services director for um, the Southwest region in the US. And I'm introducing this session specifically because uh, most of my customers are already in the cloud and um, enjoying the benefits of, of being you know, in, in a managed environment with free automated upgrades. Uh, as you heard in the previous session, MicroStrategy was an early pioneer of uh, cloud analytics. We've been, um, we began, began hosting cloud environments back in 2011, so almost a decade, uh, where we have perfected our process, uh, developed a fully mature cloud service. Um, I actually do have one customer which has been with us all this time, um, you know, and have enjoyed the investment and evolution that we have put into, into our platform. They became a MicroStrategy customer in our first cloud uh, back in 2011 when we had our private cloud um, hosting um, solution. And then by 2013, they moved with us when we started to host uh, our cloud in AWS. Um, they received all these security patches and all the certifications we've done through the years. Um, they have enjoyed um, you know, one of the greatest features, which was back in 20, uh, 2017, where we had the one single click upgrade. And that's a truly amazing feature, I can tell you, because I joined MicroStrategy back in 2006, been 15 years almost, uh, just actually over 15 years in MicroStrategy. Uh, I joined as a consultant, and back then, just to upgrade the software, I need to take almost a week without even taking into account um, testing. So being able to upgrade your system with one click is you know, truly, truly amazing. And, uh, and back in 2018, they also, uh, when we started to offer Azure as part of our platform, they moved to Azure with us. I mean, Azure was something our customers, you know, you guys were requesting, uh, especially in the retail space. And, and that's why we you know, offer that um, to, to them. And then in 2021 is when we have introduced our automated and enhanced uh, you know, on-prem migration experience. You know, we're talking about containers right now. And that's when you know, we um, started to offer as well our free automated upgrades in the cloud, which is where, you know, where Kevin uh, will walk you through in, um, in a few minutes now. So why would you rely on our upgrade process? Well, 1,500 customers had uh, you know, already went through it uh, over the last two years. Um, some of them did it by themselves. Uh, more than 700 of um, those were completed by our professional services team or by our cloud team since we introduced our enterprise support program. And um, on top of those, we have completed over 200 um, cloud upgrades since we introduced um, our free automated upgrades. So this is a tested process. Um, many customers like you have gone through it and, and that's the main reason where they still rely on us and they still trust us. So why would you adopt our MicroStrategy managed cloud service? Well, there was a session before this one where um, I recommend you, if you didn't watch it yet, I recommend you to um, search for it. You're going to have accessible all the MicroStrategy World sessions um, after we're, we're done with it. Uh, it's going to be recorded. You're going to get a link to it. So I really, really encourage you to uh, look at it if you have any thoughts about moving to cloud or you're uh, building your roadmap or your strategy on the cloud. So the, the main reason why people um, move to our cloud is because of what we do there. And what do we do there? Well, we, of course, apply our you know, new process for free automated upgrades. We take care of your environment, um, make sure it's available you know, 24-7, 365 days a year. We make sure it's scalable. We make sure it performs. Um, we apply any patches or security certifications that we need to apply. And we take care of your user community. So we manage um, your users to make sure they can access the system you know, anytime, night and day, whenever you need it, so you can focus on, on your business. So uh, most of my customers are already in the cloud, as I said before. And um, you know, because they move to the cloud, they free up their time. And what they can do now is focus on their business, you know, analyze news cases for their business, analyze their data, uh, collaborate and, 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 and 
and you know uh, supported key stakeholders uh, you know they can develop new applications um, use all our greatest features you know library dossier just by using dossiers you know they are responsive design they can you know enable uh, mobility and all of that is possible because they're always in the latest version you know they always have available to them the latest and greatest um, features of MicroStrategy. With that, uh, I'm gonna introduce you to Kevin Shannon, which is our principal technical program manager who will walk you through all the details of how we um, do the upgrades and our managed cloud. Kevin, the floor is yours. Thanks, Alberto. I appreciate the introduction. As Alberto mentioned, uh, most of his clients are already on MicroStrategy Cloud and uh, he was being modest, but um, all uh, he was the first services director to have all of his clients upgraded last year. Uh, so I'm sure that's a feat he will repeat this year on getting his clients on MicroStrategy 2021. Here's a quote from a MicroStrategy client that was upgraded last quarter. Smooth, on time, and without disruption are the goal of any upgrade. For this particular client, they had a project in progress and was rolling out new features to new users. So zero disruption for them meant no downtime to the user community and no disruption to the development lifecycle. We were able to accomplish both those goals on time and before the client's year-end freeze. Let's take a look at the platform release cadence. A new release comes out in December of each year. We recommend that all clients are on the latest release. That ensures you're on the most reliable, most secure, and highest performing release. Each release schedule is supported for three years, but MicroStrategy Cloud clients have the opportunity to upgrade quickly to access new features and functionality. And we make it easy by reducing the overhead associated with upgrading and maintaining the underlying infrastructure, saving your team hundreds of hours. MicroStrategy 2021 does an amazing job of enhancing the experiences of all parts of the platform, bringing best of class modern experiences to users and self-service analytics with library and hyperintelligence, an open approach to building those client experiences, and of course, improvements to MicroStrategy's enterprise capabilities, the platform that allows you to serve up trusted data quickly. We encourage you to attend as many MicroStrategy uh, sessions at MicroStrategy World as you can. Our goal is to get you upgraded so we can implement so that you can implement the new features. If you're already on cloud, you're probably on 2020. Hyperintelligence and library are already available to you. 2021 has uh, made, introduced improvements to those features. So attending the other MicroStrategy World sessions will get you excited to find use cases so that you can get them implemented. So now that there is a new platform release available, let's take a look at the team involved in the MicroStrategy Cloud upgrades. As a MicroStrategy Cloud client, you already have a cloud engineer assigned to your account. So you're meeting with your cloud engineer regularly to review the open cases, the upcoming platform releases and updates, and what new features and fixes are included in those. Once you decide to upgrade to the latest platform, and again, they come out every December, so we wanna have these conversations with you early in the new year, an upgrade technical lead is assigned. The upgrade technical lead will work with you on the timing, which environments go first, and the reports to be included in the automated upgrade validation. So what resources do we need on your side? We do our best to minimize the time required for client-side resources, but it is still a collaboration and we want to make sure that we get this right. So on your side, we ask for an intelligence director, someone who can, we can work with on the timelines and to identify those reports that we are going to be doing our testing on. As well, there's a level of validation that your team is going to want to perform, the user acceptance testing. On the projects that I've been involved in, sometimes that group is the BI team and sometimes it's the business stakeholders. User acceptance testing can include uh, more automated testing, manual testing of opening up key reports or testing any customizations. Typically this UAT period lasts one or two weeks. Let's revisit the goals of the upgrade before moving to the steps. Zero downtime, ability to continue development and freeing up your resources from the typical upgrade activities to spend more time on what matters. Providing your users with the data that they need to grow your company's analytics solutions. So what are the technical steps? A lot of work has gone into improving this process over the last year between the different teams at MicroStrategy. So technology has worked to automate as much of the steps as possible, working with the cloud team and getting feedback from services and support on the most common upgrade issues seen in the field. So the steps are create a parallel upgrade environment that matches the current environment, 
perform validation on the upgrade and the UAT and the production cutover steps. So phase one, microstrategy backup, or is it affectionately known uh, here, MSTR back or microstrategy back? It allows for an automated 20 to 30 minute process and it captures all the critical components of your microstrategy environment. The metadata, cubes, caches, and images, the server project and report settings, and any plugins. Then with the power of MicroStrategy Cloud Platform, this backup file can be restored automatically to create a new MicroStrategy Cloud environment in about 60 to 90 minutes. When restoring the backup, we simply choose to restore the environment to the latest MicroStrategy version. Another very cool feature of the backup and restore is that we now support MSTR back on both AWS and Azure environments. This is a huge win and allows us to back up on one platform and restore on the other, increasing the portability of your solution. So essentially within a couple of hours, we back up, restore and upgrade in a few clicks. I'm gonna pass this to my colleague now, Drew, to take you through the second step, which is upgrade validation. Drew has been a MicroStrategy consultant for a number of years. For the last year, he has pretty much exclusively been working on cloud upgrades and cloud migrations. He has spent hundreds of hours using our automated validation tools, probably more than he uh, wants to admit. And it always leads to successful upgrades uh, and happy clients. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Uh, that was really a great overview of how our automated cloud upgrade system has really taken some of the best aspects of our proven upgrade methodologies uh, and made them even better. One of the most important aspects of upgrading your MicroStrategy environment, whether it's on-premise or in the cloud, is testing. While you will be sure to enjoy all of the new features of MicroStrategy 2021 uh, and all of our future releases, those features only really help if the data that your users are receiving is verified. Uh, MicroStrategy, as part of your cloud upgrade, will assist in testing your MicroStrategy reports to ensure that none of the optimizations in our new version have affected any of your data. This starts by running integrity manager tests on a set of your most critical reports. We'll work with you to collect you know, the list of reports that you want to test. And this number can vary, uh, but usually it's somewhere between 20 to 30 reports per project. And the key is to test reports that span different areas of your schema and include any critical business reports uh, that are really important to your day-to-day -day operations. Uh, this way, we'll you know, make sure that all of your data is covered. Uh, and ensure that when you go into production in your neck in 2021, uh, you know everything your business users are expecting to see, they'll see. Uh, we'll then leverage our upgrade analysis dossier to present the results of this testing in a clear and consistent manner. And this dossier will also provide additional information on any of the discrepancies there may be in the data so we can help fix it going forward. We will run these tests at two separate points, depending on your environment, uh, once when the metadata is upgraded, and then again after upgrading the data engine. Uh, this is really an important step in the process that we've put in our product uh, because it helps ensure that you can leverage all the great new features without applying too many changes to the way the data is calculated. Um, if the upgraded data engine causes any issues due to the way your schema is created, uh, you can still release the new features to your business users and take a phased approach to upgrading the data engine. Um, you know, as testing occurs, we're going to make sure that all of these changes are documented that you do. And that way, when we go to do the final cutover, we have a list of the changes we need to do again. Uh, but my colleague, Jamin, will get a little bit more into that uh, later. One thing I'd like to point out is being on the cloud is uh, really helpful to this upgrade process. Since you're going to be upgrading to each platform release on the cloud, uh, upgrades tend to have less changes in them than some of the long jumps, for instance, from 9.4 to 2020 that we see on premise um, that I know many of you guys have done in the past. Uh, this makes the testing process much faster and allows you to spend less time focusing on the upgrade and more time focusing on your business users. Here's a quote from one of our customers all about how uneventful their upgrade was. This is something we take a lot of pride in. And I think it really speaks to the testing plan that is included in all of our upgrade projects and our experience working together with hundreds of customers. Our goal is to make sure that everything is tested and ready to go before the next step in the process, the production cutover. Now I'm gonna pass it over to one of my colleagues, Jamin Joshi, who is one of our cloud product specialists to talk about this final step in your upgrade. Thank you, Drew. I think we are ready for the final step of our upgrade process, the cutover. 
One of our goals is to provide a minimum downtime for our customers to move from one version to another. Once the validation has been completed for the new environments, we schedule the cutover activity. It's a two-step process, uh, empty refresh, also known as metadata refresh, and changing the URLs. The activity that we perform in Cutover is we take the metadata from your current working microstrategy environment and perform a MD refresh and restore it to the parallel upgraded environment and configure the iServer to your new fresh copy of the metadata. MD refresh is necessary as we want to ensure that whatever activities the users have performed are migrated to the new environment so nothing is lost. It can be any development work pushed to production or users creating any self-service dossiers. Once MD refresh is completed, we take the DNS URL for new environment and point it to the existing customer facing URL. So the users can use the same URL and hit the new environments. This way we ensure that the end users can seamlessly access MicroStrategy environments. So congratulations, you are now on the latest ver version of MicroStrategy. As mentioned before, we also do quarterly updates and that process is easier than ever. We installed the updates with our seamless process called as one-click update. Let's have a quick look. We go to our MicroStrategy Cloud Console link and look for an option called Upgrade Available. Once we click Option, it validates your environment and installs the latest update. Easier than ever and minimum impact for your users. I will pass it back to Drew to finish the session. Thanks, Jamin. Wow, that was a really fast upgrade. As part of my role here at MicroStrategy, I've been a part of many upgrades, both on-premise and in the cloud. For our traditional on-premise upgrades, the process includes many manual steps. And honestly, there's a lot of room for error. We have taken the steps to improve it, but where we've really taken the steps is with our valued cloud customers. By automating many of these processes and leveraging our reference cloud architecture to ensure stability, we've really simplified the process into the three steps that we talked about today. We're going to make sure your upgrade in your environment is upgraded with all the best practices of our cloud system. We're going to work with you to make sure that the entire platform is tested and that all the business sign-offs needed by your organization is completed before moving into production. And that's really all of your responsibility anymore. And then we're going to handle the cutover activities to make sure that your end users have as little interruption as possible before they get to start experiencing the great new features in our new release. I'd like to just finish up with one more customer quote. This shows how we take time to work together with you, our customers, and to make sure that your upgrade is successful. Well, actually this quote is just about how great I am, but we really have a whole team here dedicated to making sure this is as seamless an experience as possible, and you can start enjoying new features that MicroStrategy 2021 bring. If you're currently a MicroStrategy cloud customer, please reach out to your dedicated cloud engineer to get the upgrade process started. And if you're still on premise, we'd still love to help you get to MicroStrategy 2021. So please reach out to your account executive about how we can help you upgrade.